Did a video yesterday, specialized bike style, my cadence concept. <laughs> Nothing stealing, anyway. But anyway, so Autodromo Fear F1 says, for all information, now here's the first thing. Buddy, have you, now I'm not being a hater, I'm not being angry, I'm just being fucking straight up. Bro, have you ever ridden with Chris Froome? Like ridden, like 400 watts, climbs, intervals, etc. You have you? You haven't, I have. <laughs> Zip it. Anyway, let's get to it. Chris, and if, have you ever watched Chris Froome go up the, the, in the Tour of Spain, etc., the steep climbs? You think he's running 38, 28? When there's some fat, drunk guy running alongside him, and Chris Froome's cadence is 100, and the speed's 8k an hour, do the math. That's not 38, 28, bro. That's, that's a big cassette on the back, and it's small on the front. Okay, yeah. When there's a drunk person who weighs 100 kilos who's running up alongside Chris Froome, and Chris Froome's cadence is like 90 to 100, you do the math. We'll get to that in a sec, but let's get answer your question. Uh, first of all, you don't know anything about cadence and power. Uh, nobody's ever won Paru Bay of Wonderland with 30 or 40 cassette. Why, like, why do you need a 40 cassette for fucking uh, Tour of Flanders or Roubaix? You don't. You don't. When you're a pro on EPO, you don't need a 40 cassette for the fucking mirror or any of the climbs in uh, Tour of Flanders aren't even steep. I've done them. They're not even steep, man. If you've got 32 ma maximum is all you need, really. At the speed they're going at, the cadence is still going to be good. But again, you see Peter Sagan have those big cassettes on his bikes and he seems spinning. I've done plenty of videos about that. This going to be a quick video so I don't bring you footage. There's plenty of videos of, uh, I've done, people have done on Sagan spinning up the climbs in Tour of Flanders, just spinning away from people, okay? And even Cancelara on his e-bike. Look at Cancelara on his e-bike, man. I mean, it doesn't matter what gears you got. If you're on an e-bike, <laughs> Anyway, anyway, controversial topic. Uh, point is, use a cassette that's appropriate for every type of writing you do. It's not one size fits all. Well, how many of my fucking viewers are aiming to win Paris-Roubaix? So why the fuck would you... Now, I'm not being angry. I'm just saying, honestly, man, why the fuck are you going to pretend you're a Paris-Roubaix contender? So, oh, I, I might win Paris-Roubaix one day. I'm, I'm a bit busy this week, so maybe next week I'll win Paris-Roubaix. But I'm going to buy the same gear ratios as motherfuckers riding e-bikes to win Paris-Roubaix. Like, wh wh what? Are you really as strong as Cancellara on an e-bike, man? When he's riding his boosted bike. Like, Casey Neistat would even be flipping out. But anyway, um, you also keep a power a lot more consistent with close range. <laughs> yeah! What? I, what the fuck? Like, oh my god. Anyway, for example, a 40 cassette, you might be forced to choose between 95 and 200 watts. Well, how the fuck are you going to have to be producing 300 watts? Oh, I'm, I'm doing 200 watts. Now I've changed gears. I'm going to do now. I'm going to do 300 watts because I've got a foot. Like, what the fuck? You have to ride at 300 watts because you've got a 40 cassette? How the fuck does that work, man? This is like, what the fucking dribble? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's have a look at Tony Martin's bike. No pros run 32 cassette on a TT. This is a flat TT-ish. Uh, a little few rises in there. What Tony Martin? Oh my god! Oh my god! Tony Martin has got a fucking long cage SRAM on there with a 32 cassettes. All right. Do I have to dig up Froome's bikes and Cancellara, etc.? Tony Martin, World TT Champion, 32 cassette. What did this chopper say? Uh, no one's no one's running a 32 or 40 cassette. The pros don't need a 40 cassette. They don't because there's no climb steep enough that they'd need it. And the drugs that you take these days when you're smashing off the front, you're going so fast, you wouldn't need a 40 cassette. Uh, 34 for sure. 34, 32, 36 cassette even. 36 cassette, Dave Miller. Here we go. Boom. EPO, Dave Miller. Dave Miller on EPO, still running 36 cassette. So these choppers out there, actually, I'll take that back. Maybe in the future, some pros will run a 40 cassette. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. I'd have to look at the cadence data, the power data. That's all you need is cadence and power. And, and if, you, if you can't hit your power, then you need to shift your gears. You need to change cassettes if you need to. But these choppers out there who think, well, I don't need a 40 cassette because I'm going to win Paris-Roubaix. I'm going I'm to win the ta I'm gonna win the World Time Trial Championship. That's why I run at 1125. Close ratios. I'm putting out 470 watts for one. Bradley Wiggins, 478 watts for the hour record. Are you doing 478 watts for an hour? What is that? 478 watts for one hour. Come on, man. Let's get real. Why the fuck is your ego so big? You think you've got to use the same gear ratios as people 
taking doing all sorts of crazy shit. 478 watts to an hour. Anyone with a power meter can appreciate how fucking alien life form esque that wattage is. That's impressive shit. 478 watts. I used to when I was riding B grade many years ago. I used to I used to attack at 520 watts. Now I can do 520 watts for a couple of minutes, maybe maybe two minutes max. But 478 for the hour on a flat track is insane. Uh, anyway, so we have the gear ratio calculator. Type it in. You know, look at these choppers out there. So you've got a 3411, and let's say you go up a steep climb, and you're doing 10k an hour. 10k an hour. I mean, 100%. This guy who wrote this thing doesn't doesn't have much experience, and there's no way he could keep up with me uh, going keeping up with Chris Froome when they're doing intervals. There's no way, bro. You couldn't keep up. So I'm not saying that you're bad. I'm not saying that you're shit. I'm just saying that you're inexperienced, and you're trying to sound like a pro. When you got no idea, no idea. You don't even coach people, bro. I've coached thousands of people with cycling and weight loss. I understand what it takes. Anyway, I digress. I'm not trying to do a, a, a pissing competition here, but so let's say you're going up a climb and you're doing nine k an hour, all right? And you can click up to you do, and you're going up to ninety k, and you you know to do nine points. You're about going up half a kilometer faster, and it's you know what I mean. You don't get to change gears, you're just spinning up to 90. So this chopper said, what did he what did he say? If you go 80 RPM, you have to do 300 watts. Like, I mean, I mean, if there was a magic cassette in the world where I could just change into that 40 tooth, and all of a sudden, magically, I have to do 300 watts. And, and it's like, a, is it like an e-cassette? Where it's got like a little motor inside, and all of a sudden, you're... Uh, <laughs> this is, I don't, I just don't know. I mean, and then he says, I'm not stressing my knees out by putting out 300 watts at 80 RPM. 80 RPM is not really grinding. I said, all right. But, bro, you ain't holding 300 watts for very long. Do you even strava, bro? Do you even strava? I mean, these are the sort of people, I want, I want them to come riding with me. They, they come riding and training with me. And, and, and then they'll learn. Then they'll go, oh, okay, I don't understand doing it. So I'm not having to go to this person. It's the internet. Everyone's got an opinion. They're like keyboards. Everyone's got one. So... It can be, I feel like I get a little bit frustrated when someone says the pros wouldn't run 32 cassettes in the TT, they do, and and they run 36 cassettes even. Do, do some of the pros run 40 cassettes? I don't know. Chris Froome, I asked Chris Froome um, in January this year, so what's the, uh, actually Gary Thomas as well, what's the biggest cassette? And he didn't really know. He didn't know, didn't really want to say. He said, oh, I was 28, I, th- I just let mechanics sort of do it. It was a bit of very vague. Great uh, answer, and he did, generally didn't know, or they're sort of keeping it on the low down, the low key, the advantage. Because Chris, look at Chris Froome's cadence in the Velta, not in 2011 when he lost the Velta to Kobo, because Chris Froome only had like a 39, 28 or something, and he's grinding. Kobo, the 34, 32, spinning, won the Velta. Chris Froome and Wiggins, 100%, lost the Velta because they didn't have the cadence. They couldn't put the power out. They had the power. They had the power. They didn't have the cadence, so they put their power on. Kobo just spun away from them. So they lost the lost the 2011 uh, Velta. Team Sky lost the Velta because of just didn't put a 32 cassette in the back. They're literally that simple. Those guys have got the power. They didn't have the cadence. They couldn't get the power. So anyway, lad, ask your thoughts. Man. Ask your questions down below. I mean, this is just hilarious. The pros do run 32 cassettes and 36 cassettes on occasion when needed. Uh, this person says close ratio gearing matters. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, if you ride hills, if you need more gears, use as much bigger cassette. Put a fucking Tram Eagle 50 cassette on there if you can work out how it works on your road bike. Let, let me know if you make that hack. Put that if you need to. Well, you, okay, bottom line, bottom line. Whew, let me calm down. Use whatever gears you need to use so your cadence is between 80 and 100 when you're trying to go full gas. If it dips down 80 for a little bit, that's okay. Ideal cadence for high performance is 90 to 105. For sprinting, it's about 130 to 150. If you're not hitting 130 to 150 in your sprint, your gears are too hard for you. If you're not climbing 90, maybe 85, 85 to 105, when you're trying to go full gas up the climb, you, you don't have enough bigger cassette or you need to change your chain rings, okay? So you, if you can't hit 85 to 105 when you're trying to go full gas up your favorite climb, you need easier gears. 
if you can't spin at peak power at 100, if you're not hitting 130 cadence or 150 cadence, let's say 130 cadence, when you're sprinting, your gears are too hard for you. You need to switch it down to easy gears. Bottom line. Namaste. Fuck it. Chris Williams, spin to win. Cadence, 90 RPM, spin to win. 40 cassette. Your mum bought me a 40 cassette. I'm going to run a 30 to win. Cadence. Chris Williams, spin to win. Cadence, 90, 90, 90, 90. Spin, spin to win. Cadence, motherfucker. Chris Williams, spin to win. Cadence, 90 RPM, spin to win. 40 cassette. Your mum bought me a 40 cassette. I'm gonna run a 32 cassette on my TT bike to your mum's house. Spinners are winners. Spin, spin to win. Cadence, motherfucker. Chris Williams, spin to win. Cadence, 90 RPM, spin to win. 40 cassette. Your mum bought me a 40 cassette. I'm gonna run a 32 cassette on my TT bike to your mum's house. Spinners are winners. Spin, spin to win. Cadence, motherfucker. Chris Williams, spin to win. Cadence, 90, 90, 90. Spin, spin to win. Cadence, motherfucker. Chris Williams, spin to win. Cadence, 90, 90, 90, 90. Cadence, motherfucker.